Hello, good morning. This is Rick Penny, and I'm bringing you today's word for February 5th, 2016. This message is part of a series entitled Refined Focus, where I believe this year the grace of God is on us to live our lives with a supernatural focus that far exceeds anything we've ever done in the past so that we can make 2016 the best year of our lives. Within this series, I'm teaching different mini-series. This one is entitled Focusing on the Word, where we are learning to meditate and medicate on the Word of God day and night. So it's a Friday morning. I want to close out the week strong, head into the weekend strong. The title of today's message is Focusing on Your Words. Focusing on your words. Your words are important. So we've been using Joshua as a case study. And all week we've been studying Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 through 8. And I believe that by now you know the context, but let me just kind of give it to you as a quick over, overview once again. Um, Joshua was the newly appointed leader of the nation of Israel. God made it clear that it was time to take possession of the land. This was a land promised to their forefathers. The land was expansive. It was millions of acres, and it was inhabited uh, with different nations, and those nations had fortified cities, and they also had time-tested armies. So it was not going to be an, an easy task. But the Lord was with Joshua, and the Lord's presence made all the difference. The Lord, watch this, would provide the grace. Joshua had to provide the faith. And that's how it is with you and I. He provides the grace, even for this morning, for this weekend, for this season of your life. But you have to provide the faith. So in preparation for the assignment, the Lord said to Joshua, Joshua 1 and 8, Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate. Medicate on it day and night so that you will be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Today, I'm going to focus in on the words, keep this book of the law always on your lips because we're focusing on the importance of our words. So what does this mean to you today? Just a few things about speaking godly words. I have seven quick things. Let's get into them. Number one, your words matter to God. The very first thing that the Lord instructed Joshua in this key verse, Joshua 1 and 8, was to, to take control of his tongue, to take control of his mouth, to speak the word of God. If you can control your mouth, then you will control your life. You got to focus on your words. Number two, your words are so powerful that they can literally unleash the power of death or the power of life. Your words are containers that can unleash the power of death, unleash the power of life. Your tongue is a sword that yields this power. That's Proverbs 18 and 21. So for Joshua to experience godly success, he was going to have to take control of his tongue. And the same is true for you and I. We must take control of our tongue because the power of death and life is, con is contained uh, in the words that we speak. Number three, your words are a litmus test for the condition of your heart. Jesus explained in the New Testament that Whatever you have filled your heart with, good or bad, blessing or cursing, will come spilling out of your mouth. I like to say that whatever is in you abundantly is going to come out of you eventually. So you, you know that whatever you fill your heart with is what's going to come out of your mouth. Number four, your words, uh, 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 let me say it this way, you are your words and your words are you, right? So you cannot disconnect yourself from your words. You can't say a word and say, oh, that, that wasn't me. No, daily your words are telling everyone who you are. Your words are telling everyone what you have down in your heart. So you need to focus on your words because your words are exposing who you really are. Right now, to change your words, you got to change the content of your heart. You change your heart, you can ch then change your words. Number five, your words are so powerful and important that Jesus said that there would actually come a day where we will all stand before God and give account for every non-productive, for every idle word that, that we've ever spoken. Every idle word, he said, you're going to have to give an, a, an account for it. That's how important our words are. That's why we need to focus on our words. Number six, your words can bring about godly change when they are spoken on purpose. Speak your words on purpose. God wanted Joshua to use his tongue on purpose. God, and he wants you and I to do the same thing today. Make sure your words are purposeful and not purpose-free. Purpose-free words are useless and non-productive. Don't just open your mouth for no reason. Open your mouth to speak with a purpose because you're a child of purpose. You're a child of the Most High God. Number seven, and finally, when you speak words that are in sync with heaven, you actually come in agreement, and you speak those words from, from a believing heart. You come in agreement with God, and you position yourself to experience heaven on the earth. You and I are supposed to live on earth in sync with heaven. How, how do we get to experience 
life on earth as it is in heaven. Well, we have to live in sync with heaven. And part of that is speaking words that align with heaven. I would rather be in sync with heaven and out of sync with people down here in the earth. People may look at me strange. People may not always understand me. I'm okay with that. I would rather be in sync with heaven and out of sync with folks down here so that I could experience heaven on the earth. And I speak faith-filled words. I speak words that line up with heaven. Focus on your words as you head into this day, as you head into this weekend. So let's close this message with a declaration of faith where you get to speak words. You get to speak words over your own life, words of faith. So repeat after me, open your mouth, speak words over your life from a believing heart. Say, Father, this is a season of refined focus for me. I, I bring my life into focus. And part of doing that is focusing on my words. I control my tongue. This is important for me to live in sync with you. So you made plans for me before the world began. Heaven is in sync with your plans for my life. And I live on earth in alignment with those plans in sync with heaven. I am on earth and I live as it is in heaven. So one of the ways that I come in agreement with heaven is with my words. I know my mouth will only speak what my heart contains. So I fill my heart with good things. I meditate and I medicate on your word day and night. I then speak only that which is in alignment with heaven. Living this way, I get to experience heaven on earth every day of my life. I declare this by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org, sign up, get the messages. They're going to be a blessing to you. If you know someone that needs to watch this message, needs to take control of their tongue, share it with them. As you head into this day and as you head into the weekend, focus on your words. Speak the word only. Speak words that line up with heaven and you will experience heaven on earth. God bless you.